Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to create this cool looking glass looping text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition. Now for this composition, I am going to run with 3840 by 2160 document, 30 FPS at a duration of about 15 seconds. Then just press OK. So now that I have that, then the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a background. So I'm just gonna add a background and label it BG and there we have it. It's a black background as well. Then I'm going to go and add a text layer. So I'm going to write my word loop. Now the font that I'm using is called Mission Gothic and you can find it from dafont.com. All I'm gonna do is just increase the size a little bit and then align it to the center of my composition. Once you're happy with the text, then what we are going to do is we are going to pre-compose that text. So I'm just gonna go up to layer pre-compose make sure you're on the text layer and just call it text like that then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the CC vector blur effect and in here uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the type to direction center I'm going to increase the amount to about 70 and I'm going to increase the map softness to also about 70. Now you can definitely play around with these things and you can get the effect that you want. So please make sure that you play around with some of those settings. Then what we need to do is we need to increase the revolutions to about two. All right, so now it's looking a little bit sharper and you've got that cool kind of blobbiness in the middle. Then what we need to do is we need to animate the angle offset. So I'm gonna hit that stopwatch on the first keyframe. I'm gonna press U to bring up my keyframes. I'm gonna to go to about four seconds and let it spin for one rotation. So now if you go and you scrub through that, now you can see that we actually have some movement on there. And if you want it faster or slower, then all you have to do is move this around to where you want it. Now, because our uh, duration for this composition is about 15 seconds, I'm gonna hold option and click that little stopwatch and write a little expression, which is called loop out. And now that will continuously loop out all the way to the end. So that's looking pretty cool. So the next thing that we need to do is now we need to create an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna right click in here and then just create a new adjustment layer. Now on this adjustment layer, the first effect that I'm gonna add in here is chord CC Mr. Smoothie. Now you can see what has actually happened to that text. Now it's got this outline and it looks pretty cool and we can play around with some of these settings. Now you don't wanna to go too crazy over here because if you keep going too crazy, then it will just kind of all blob into each other. But I just wanna have maybe a little bit of the outside and a little bit of the inside. So I'll probably keep it maybe something around there, 4.4. The other setting uh, or the other effect that we will add in here is some CC glass. And now once you add the CC glass, then you can go back and rearrange your uh, Mr. Smoothie if you um, so choose. And all I'm gonna do in CC glass is if I go down and open some of the uh, shading settings, I'm gonna increase the specular and I'm also going to decrease the metal. So once you decrease the metal, then you're gonna get those uh, you know things that are coming out on the side. And if you need to go back in to your CC vector blur settings, you can really go in and dull things up and make it look, you know, pretty crazy and whatever. So play around with having, um, you know, like the map softness a little bit lighter or something like that. Maybe we'll put it back to about 50 or something like that. So you can really play around with some of those settings. Now, the other thing that we can do over here is we can go to the text and add some uh, glow. Um, and then you can see what it does to that text. It kind of inflates it a bit and you can get some really cool effects if you play around with some of the glow radius settings. So if you want like a 
cool kind of backgroundy kind of thing like that um you can play around with that and then if that you know stuffs up uh your uh cc vector blur settings you can always go back in there and you can dial that back or you can change it to whatever you like so the settings that i've uh, kept it at i'm gonna keep the amount in the vector blur at 60 and i'm gonna keep the map softness at about 70 and in the glow radius i'm just gonna make sure that it's around about 50. so the final thing that we need in here is another new adjustment layer and what we are going to do is make sure that it's at the top and i'm just going to add some noise and i'm just gonna bump that noise up to about 10 percent and that's pretty much it for our looping glass surfacey kind of text effect anyways guys uh thanks for watching i hope you learned something and i'll see you guys in the next video